Today, in Private Email Part 3, we are going to be setting up Thunderbird email software. I will go over a step-by-step -step setup for an account in Thunderbird. A couple of reasons I like Thunderbird. It is free open source software that can be downloaded and used free of charge. It works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. I have used Thunderbird for years and found it very solid and reliable. It is also easy to install, configure, and use. We will be using our email address that we set up on Private Email Part 2. Let's get started. First, get Thunderbird email software. Head over to Thunderbird.net. Make sure you are at Thunderbird.net and get a clean file. There are some weird download virus sites out there that will come up in search engines. Double check that you are on Thunderbird.net before you click download. Once you have the Thunderbird file, install it. When you open Thunderbird for the first time, you will be greeted with this page. Go down to set up an account and click email. A window will pop up. Fill in the name you want to use, your email address, and your password. Click done. And now you have your very own email account in your Thunderbird software. This works about 9.5 times out of 10. Once in a while you will get an error because the auto configure did not pick up the correct settings. If you had the unfortunate experience of this happening, that's okay. We're going to fix it in this next step. On the box that comes up, click manual config. This will take us to our settings. The most common mistake I've had in settings is the password. So first, double check your password, double check your email address. Then when we go down, we'll have our standard settings of server host name and port numbers. The most common misconfigure I've had with the auto configure is the wrong port number. So to check our port numbers and our server host names, we will have to log into our email host. I will use our email from part two that we set up in Gandhi.net. Go into your domain, click email, and then go down to the page and click the email that you are trying to configure. On the email page, somewhere you will find connection settings. On Gandhi.net, it is all the way at the bottom of the page. Scroll down and you will have your connection settings. Most domain hosts have very similar setups. Somewhere in your domain settings, you will find your connection settings. Once you find the connection settings, now it's time to compare them with our Thunderbird email connection settings. Check the port numbers and make sure they match. Also check your server name and make sure it matches along with your username. Click retest. Hopefully all your configurations will now line up. When you're done aligning the configurations and you get a all good sign, then click done. And now you should have your email address configured within the Thunderbird software. As I mentioned earlier, most of the times Thunderbird will configure very easily with your first box with your username and password and the auto config features. If for some reason that doesn't work, we went over how to manually config it and troubleshoot it. I hope you found this video helpful. 
This three-part series of private email was designed to encourage and help viewers to get away from using large corporate email addresses that are designed to harvest and exploit user data. Your own private email address is very inexpensive and takes a minimal amount of time and effort to set up. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and secure.